I don't know what's weirder, the fact that I'm making a video or the fact that my room's clean in a video. Yo, what's going on, people of the internet? Arrow right here, Arrow fan. I know I'm bringing you guys a brand new video once again today. I don't know why after all these years I still do that intro, but anyways, we're getting back to uploading. I've been killing myself at work recently, and it, I don't know, it, fucking work, it, it sucks, it's stressful. I do have time to upload, but I'm just so fucking tired by the end of the day, either that or I'm so pissed off with everything. Working retail is, uh, oh god, you, you got, you... If you have a retail job, you, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm there full-time. It's not even a part-time retail, retail job. I'm there almost 40 hours a week. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun whatsoever. You deal with a lot of fucking assholes, stuff like that. And I, I don't think I've made a video since I've come back from Illinois, which really sucks. I lost a lot of footage while I was out in Illinois because my phone broke. I don't know if I even spoke about that yet. Jesus Christ. Wow, I really haven't been uploading. Fuck. Well, my phone broke and I got a new one since then, and my car broke down, got in, or got that fixed since then. Um, but I did want to tell a story about my vacation, because I don't think I've said anything about my vacation yet, or what I did, or... I, I don't fucking know, man. Um, it was, it was a, uh, it was an okay vacation. I did get a new puppy, by the way. Uh, his name's Bear. A paws fractured, and that that happened after we brought him home, which really upsets me. But he's a Saint Bernard puppy, fucking cute as shit. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a video with him soon enough. Maybe in a Life of Arrow or something. But I think I want to share my story um, that about what happened. The fuck. It was. Oh my god. Vacation. Anytime I was ever left alone, it always ended up being some sort of experience. I. I oh god. So anytime I was left alone. I always got hit on by girls, which is weird. I don't talk to girls. I don't go up to talk to girls. Logan makes fun of me for that all the fucking time. Like, literally, he can basically go, okay, John, go talk to her. He's like, no, no, go now, now. And he'll just, he knows I won't go up there and talk to a girl. He just finds it funny as shit that, like, I don't know. I, I get some sort of anxiety or whatever. It's not even, like, I can't talk to the girls. It's just breaking the ice is, like, that it's very thick for me, I guess. I, I don't fucking know. I'm very very shy so anyways uh to start the story there's a store called rural king if you live in the midwest you probably fucking know what this is up northeast we don't have these things at all basically it's a farm store i guess but they have a lot of cool stuff there too that like i can buy like fucking a uh, giant trash bag filled with fresh popcorn which is fucking delicious but i didn't even think i don't even think i brought any home because we had no room in the car especially with bringing bear home all the way from illinois it it, it was it was a chore so we i don't think we brought any popcorn home this year but we that was the first time all vacation my mom left me alone and right then and there i ended up getting hit on by two girls don't didn't even bother to get their names a little disappointed in myself that i didn't but you know they were cute as fuck, and I just let that one slide. My mom starts making fun of me after. And then later that night, I went, um, I left the hotel, I went to Burger King. You guys, if you follow my channel, you know my love for Burger King, and I, I, I eat too much fucking Burger King. Those Bacon Kings are like crack to me, really, really. I eat way too much fast food in general, actually. But I walk into the Burger King, and there's a girl working there, and she gives me this look. As, as soon as I get this look, I, okay, I'm, like, already knowing what the fuck, okay, something's about to go down, because no one just looks at me like that, you, you know that, you know that look, someone looks at you and is like, yeah, they want your attention, it was one of those, right, so, you know, I, I go, I go into order, and I get, uh, as I'm waiting for my food, because there was a bunch of girls working the night shift, even their supervisor was in on them, a bunch of girls working the night shift, and they go to me, hey, let's play a game, it's called the phone number game. If you just write your phone number right here. So I decide to have a little bit of fun with this, right? I decide to go and say, all right, I'll give you my phone number if you can guess what state I'm from. Because I am from fucking Massachusetts. There is no way in hell you're going to see a guy from Massachusetts just in randomly in Paris, Illinois, right? So after like discussing like okay maybe I made it a little too hard on you girls, 
I decided that I was going to give him a hint. It's a state in New England. Do you want to know what their fucking response was? And I, I was just in shock. I was so disappointed in the American education system at this point. One of the girls goes, So it's not in the United States. <sighs> so, after I had to explain that New England is a region in the United States, and I don't understand why they didn't fucking think that, they had to ask me, can we at least Google the states in New England? So a painful Google search later, they asked me to talk and see to see if I have a Boston accent. Which, I'm from Massachusetts, but I don't have a Boston accent. Like, fucking anything crazy or anything. I'd probably have something that's a little different than um, what's expected, but I don't have a Boston accent. Like, even close. So after about six miserable guesses later of all the girls asking me, I, I they didn't get it right. So, after that, they held my fucking food hostage. That's right. You know my Bacon Kings that I told you guys I love so much? No, 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 no. They held those things hostage until I gave them my phone number. And the thing is, I don't like to give my phone number out to random people. It's just not me. Um, at least to these girls. I, I, did, I, I was literally there for another week, and then I was coming back home. So, I ended up giving them my Snapchat. So... I, uh, it's, it's actually the same Snapchat that I use for um, here. So if you guys actually want to add me there, fucking at the end of every video, I like there's a snap code. Fucking snap that shit, boy. Yeah, but literally I'm always like doing something on Snapchat. So, so I ended up giving my Snapchat, and that was apparently that was good enough. And they actually upgraded my meal to a, or my second meal to a large because I had to get one for my brother as well, and I got him a small. That's one of the stories that happened to me in Illinois this year. I I. I'm so done with everything. It, it's so annoying at this point. Because the thing is, back here, that would never happen. Something like that would never happen to me. But the one time I leave the fucking state, I leave my house. The one time I leave my house, something like that has to happen, right? But I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Add me on Snapchat. It's going to be up in a couple seconds. But other than that, guys, I'm Arrow, ArrowFan91. I'll see you guys later. Peace. On the way down, scream out.